New push for increased safety on a dangerous stretch of road. Just uh, last week, two local college students were killed at the intersection of Highway 47 and Northwest Verbort Road near Forest Grove. And now the community is calling for ODOT to make some serious changes. Chris Holmstrom is live in Forest Grove. And Chris, this has been a hot spot for accidents in the last few years. It definitely has, and I learned it's one of the most dangerous intersections in the state. You can actually see why behind me. It's because it's a two-way stop, and cars are forced to either turn or to pull out on traffic that's going more than 50 miles per hour. It's very dangerous. It's a bunch of cars always throughout there. No matter who I talk to in Forest Grove, they all agree that changes must be made at the intersection of Highway 47 and Verboat Road. If you're at the intersection and there is a large vehicle there, it's really hard to see around if you're trying to turn. And so if you're going to turn, then you're kind of taking your chances sometimes. And after last week's tragic accident that killed Keita and Dilla and Ian Osmond, they are asking for changes now. In fact, I found out people in the area have started online petitions to get ODOT to make the area safer. And they're getting support from the community and Pacific University. There is a kind of a call to action um, and I think uh, members of our black student union, um, you know, have indicated that they are um, really hoping that there can be some change. I learned in the last 10 years there have been nearly 40 accidents, 27 of them with injuries and three resulting in deaths. So I wanted to know what's being done to fix it. I spoke with the ODOT spokesperson Lou Torres. He tells me the state has added turn lines, a widened shoulder and signs and are now proposing a multi-million dollar roundabout. The residents I spoke with say it's not enough. I really think the consensus is going to be that they want to stop light there. I don't think that people really want another roundabout, um, not with the speeds on 47. There's just, you know, people are going past. They, it's, it's a highway. Torres says the reason they don't plan on adding a traffic light is because studies show it would make this area more dangerous. But after losing three young women in just the last few years, they've had enough. It's partially for them, but it's partially just to help prevent anything else from happening, any, any other tragedies like this. And the city of Forest Grove is planning for a town hall meeting next Wednesday night. In regards to this intersection, ODOT will also be there to hear concerns or also good ideas on how to make this stretch of road safer. Reporting live in Forest Grove, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Coin 6 News. Chris, thank you.